Hello everyone, it's Kay here and I'm back again just to share some things that I've been making primarily for the group I belong to which is open to everyone on Facebook once you've gone through a, a question and answer application and, and that is Nina Ribena Art Journal Prompts and More and I really do enjoy this group and I've not been in a place recently where I've been able to take part for whatever reasons um, but this this time I've I've actually taken part in two weeks worth of prompts one was um, a calendar page which I'm not really getting into because I, I don't know that I would be able to come up with enough things for a 12 month period and it's calendar pages. I, w I don't know that there would be sufficiently enough different detail to make it work because my um, inks and so on are, are quite limited, I find. But in any event, so I did ATCs for that instead, which was um, my preference for that week. And then I made a tag using bits and bobs that I had left over. So we'll start with the ATC which are standard size two and a half by three and a half and this is the first one now with it being February of course it's the theme of love and romance and that kind of thing and I've just used scraps and things that were lying around on my desk I did some embossing I've collaged bits and pieces to bring it all together spritzed although I don't think you'll be able to see the glimmer of the spritz on the ATC. They're perfectly plain on the back. I've not got round to stamping or putting a back on them yet because it's for my use and I'll just put them in my little art journal that I started last year. So that was the first one and the sentiment on that is romance and then this one which is no named dedication because I think for relationships to work for there to be a reciprocal amount of feeling irrespective of whether it's partner friends or whatever it is you have to dedicate yourself to that particular interaction and make it as good as you possibly can so as dedication comes from the heart, that seemed an appropriate saying for this one. So that was number two. And it's just the same backgrounds. I've just decorated them differently. I did the background first by embossing. Then I coloured it all and then I cut out what I wanted to use for each of the ATC. And this is Remembrance and there are lots of little hearts there which I'm hoping you can pick up. Plus the traditional butterfly that's seen these days as a memory of someone who's passed. And then I'd bought a die and I'd cut a few of these um, little feathers and I thought well they're lying around I'll use that as well and just then used oxide inks and distress inks and spritzes to finish it up but overall of the three I think considering it was very much an ad hoc kind of event and I hadn't done any planning about it whatsoever I just reached for things that were lying around and basically got on with it. I am delighted at how the three card, little ATC cards have come out. And then I went on to make this tag, which I'm also really, really pleased with. If I put it on that way, you'll be able to see it was a stamp that I bought, oh, such a long time ago. And I thought, oh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll get round to using it at some point. Of course, I never did. Then I saw some bouquet background that I'd been practising on for another of Nina's art journal prompts and thought, yeah, I can use that. And then spritzed and just layered up the tag onto some ordinary craft card, basically to stabilise it and strengthen it because it was on quite flimsy card put a little t hole punch in the top here and some string just to finish it off another little bit that was lying around a little bit of stenciling through I think it was a Tim Holtz 
just a kind of spotty kind of background affair and then just let it all dry the way it wanted to no spritzing no nothing and it's just landed that way because the stays on ink has actually allowed the spritzing that occurred on the base of the um, paper there to come up through the stamp which is rather lovely so I hope you can see that it really is a beautiful stamp I think I might have bought it mm -hmm. can't remember where now. If I remember I'll put it on the bottom of this video but I rather think it's not going to come back to me. <laughs> call it age, that's what I call it. Senior moments, blonde moments, you name it, I have them all so we'll just call them what we want to call them shall we? And the other thing I wanted to share with you is another lovely something from Tamika, Scrap to World. You know, you, you anybody that follows me know that I really admire this lady and love how she puts things together. And she has done what I'm calling collage cards. And what there is on Tamika's page, if I just get the template out and I'll I'll try and link the video that this template is available on and what you basically do is take a six by six piece of paper cut it up as it's described here and you've got full measurements and here are four settings to make cards with the little bits that you've cut up basically and the only other ingredients Tamika used was a, a part and set aside from the 6 by 6 papers was a scalloped edge circle and an oval oval uh, punch that I believe she used well I didn't have uh, quite the right things and I certainly made a fluff of cutting out the um, papers there is a certain way to do it and I didn't see this first cut here which then leads to all the lower measurements this top bit is a little bit easier but anyway I got on with it and then there was a box to go with it and this is how it come, came together now I didn't have the stronger of the acetate to put on the window of my box I did do Tamika's instructions, but I've gone wrong somewhere, so the box isn't actually great, but it does its job, so to speak. And then I just decorated it with some peel-off gold flowery things and hearts to cover up my awful cutting out, which really wasn't good. And then that's just anchored into the box like so. It's not overly tidy but as I say it works and this is what I've done to my box it's a bit of a crinkle cut edge here don't ask me how I did it it was just not great um, measuring on my part because certainly to make it wouldn't make mistakes like that I own it entirely and then inside you have four cards which I've then tied in a little piece of ribbon and these are how your cards come out and I think they're absolutely gorgeous. It's just an A4 size for UK ladies and you cut it in half and then you score in half and fold and that gives you the basic C6 standardised um, card. Then you follow the template or as you get more comfortable with it you can actually put your own slant on where you want things to go on your card. Now this is a floral backing which I'm hoping the camera is picking up. This one is another floral but it's very much more busy than the first one and you see this one now is landscape whereas the first one I showed you is uh, portrait so that's the two 
number three, which are tiny, tiny little flowers. But I can't tell you, you, you start off, I, mean, I, I started these off thinking, oh my gosh, I don't know about this. But they actually grow on you as you're working with them and all the little pieces. And it is just such a lovely way of using up some scraps, your six by six papers, if you have an abundance of them. And there's always a little bit left over to simplify a decoration on the inside of the cards. And I have kept it really, really standard. They don't need, because you've decorated inside, an insert to them. Because this little bit of decoration does all you need it to. And it does make such a lovely, lovely gift. I'm going to try today to... Um, do a better job of the box I've decided because I'm not happy with what I've done there at all but I will certainly go on to make more of these lovely collage cards it's so relaxing and as I say it does allow you to utilize scraps my scraps are, are clearly the gold mirror board this is another um, piece of decorative paper but the main is the DSP that I've used here from Anne-Marie Designs, I believe it was, some time ago. But that completes with the four envelopes, made on the envelopeer, of course, the envelope board. That completes what I've been up to. So I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and that perhaps you'll go along to Tamika's channel, try these collage cards. Collage at the moment seems to be the way forward for mixed media, for tags, for all sorts of things and it is a lovely lovely way of doing and thank you for sharing my tag and ATC with me. I did enjoy doing all of these little projects. It was huge huge fun. I'll just widen. Oh will I widen out? Yes I will so that you can see all of them all in their loveliness and you'll see the pink theme but it's because it, it was what I had to hand on the day so thank you as always for sharing this time with me I hope you go along and check out the collage cards and the little set that Tamika does and also check out Nina Ribena's art journals and art journal prompts and more on Facebook. It really is such a lovely, lovely group to belong to. Take care everyone. Bye bye for now.